Our story today is called Chicks and Salsa, written by author Aaron Reynolds, with illustrations by Paulette Bogan. There were grumblings in the hen house of Nutthatcher Farm. The chickens were tired of chicken feed. The rooster took it upon himself to solve this problem. Mrs. Nutthatcher, the farmer's wife, had started watching cooking shows in the afternoons. The rooster was perched on a fence post outside the farmhouse window when he discovered the solution to his problem. Salsa! Led by the rooster, the chickens crept into the garden, where they took tomatoes and uprooted onions. That night, the chickens ate chips and salsa. Though nobody was quite certain where the chickens got the chips, the tasty tang of tomatoes and onions hung over the barnyard, and the rooster said, Ole! Very soon, there were mumblings at the duck pond of Nutthatcher Farm. Inspired by the chickens, the ducks decided they were tired of fish. With the rooster's encouragement, the ducks dipped into the garden where they selected cilantro and gathered garlic. That night, the ducks ate guacamole, though nobody was quite certain where the ducks got the avocados. The spicy scent of garlic and cilantro hung over the barnyard, and the ducks said, Ole. The next morning, there were rumblings in the pig pen of Nutthatcher Farm. Overwhelmed by the enticing aromas, the pigs decided they were tired of slop. While the rooster distracted Farmer Nutthatcher, the pigs plodded into the garden where they borrowed beans and chopped chilies. That night, the pigs ate nachos, though nobody was quite certain where the pigs got the nacho cheese sauce. The delightful deliciousness of cheese and chilies hung over the barnyard, and the pigs said, Ole! As everyone knows, when a passion for southwestern cuisine takes hold of farm animals, and so many sumptuous, spicy, Savory scents collide in the barnyard air. It can only lead to one thing. Fiesta! The rooster got things organized, then returned to his fence post to watch for a good enchilada recipe. The horses decorated the barn. The bull practiced his Mexican hat dance though nobody was quite certain where the bull got the sombrero. And the chickens, ducks, and pigs snuck into the garden, but all of their spicy southwestern supplies were gone. The scallions had been stolen, the peppers had been pilfered, the limes had been lifted. But there were slurpings in the kitchen of Nutthatcher Farm. Stirred by the succulent smells in the barnyard, Mrs. Nutthatcher had decided to make tamales for the county fair. <laughs> A saucy sweetness hung over the farmhouse kitchen, and Mrs. Nutthatcher said, Ole! Disappointed, the animals canceled the fiesta. That evening, the chickens ate their chicken feed, the ducks ate their fish, and the pigs ate their slop. But while the nutthatchers were at the fair, the rooster crept into the kitchen and borrowed a French cookbook. The next morning, the rooster ate crepes with white grapes and champagne sauce. Though, nobody was quite certain where the rooster learned how to read. 
A satisfied smile stretched over the rooster's beak. And the rooster said, Ooh la la. The end. Thank you so much for joining me for story time today. I hope you enjoyed our story and maybe even some saucer or guacamole on the side. Don't forget, click that like button and hit subscribe to be the first to be notified of which story I'll be reading next.